Hi guys, this is a funny one in the sense that uh, somebody brought it up and says, oh, you're just a guest in the Philippines, you don't like it, leave. Um, I've got to put this in the perspective that they, these people often don't, which is quite simply, when people are complaining, stick these YouTube videos up where people are telling them to go back to their own country because they're speaking in their, their dialects in someone else's country. And I've seen people from the Philippines doing it, and I've seen a lot of other people complaining about it. You're just doing exactly exactly what we should. Your answer to that would be that you're in the wrong, so why are you posting that stuff on YouTube and Facebook? Because the whole point is when somebody's actually saying like the open sewers um, it should have been upgraded 10 years ago and the covers are missing, somebody fell in it. Oh, you don't like it, you go back to your own country. Well, when you're in my country, so that means that we should deport you just because you were talking your own dialect. Well, that's pure racism. <laughs> that is pure racism. Because at the end of the day, I don't give a damn what people are doing. If the sewers itself is not functioning, it's not functioning. If you don't like people telling you the, you know, a child fell down there, um, there's something wrong with you. Um, because at the same time, when there's a natural disaster, let's just say flooding, a lot of these problems are magnified. For example, the plastics in the river, the sewers that aren't big enough to accommodate and haven't been upgraded since the 70s, and other stuff. But then we see all these bloody donation things coming up on TV saying, send help here. Yet, at the same time, your response is, it's not our problem. If you don't like it, leave. And in the same way, that response should be then, from your point of view, that we shouldn't send you any money or aid or assistance because you don't deserve it, because it's your country and your problem. And, that's, and I, I know I sound quite blunt on this, but the reason I'm saying this is improvements only come by recognizing there's a problem. If you can't recognize there's a problem, then don't sit there and complain. And the point being is, don't give us disaster relief videos. Do not ask us for aid. Do not ask for assistance. Just sit back and deal with it yourself. But in reality, we know that ain't going to happen. In the same way, the Philippines is relying on overseas workers. That sometimes complain that people don't want them speaking in their own languages in their hospitals or whatever. And at the same time, you post on YouTube, Facebook and whatever. At the same time, you get support from people from these countries and not going, you know what, go back to your own country. That's the difference. And I, I'm quite strong on this because I just find it completely bizarre that people are so blinkered that um, foreigners come to the Philippines and they do bring wealth with them, whether they like it or not. They, they invest in the local community, they rent a house, they, they eat every month, and it's money that's coming from overseas. They're actually bringing money into the economy. Yet, you'll get people saying, well, if you don't like it, just leave. At the same time, when the shoe's on the other foot, the same person that said that is whining like no tomorrow because these foreigners in their own country are sick and tired of this sort of nonsense that goes on. You know, at the end of the day, when somebody's in Walmart and people are shouting, why are you speaking in your own language in here? This is America or whatever. I've got to admit, I haven't seen it in the UK, but I have seen it in Ireland. Ireland have had some problems relating to how they treat Filipinos, but it, that's probably more down to Catholic and Protestant rather than anything else. But at the same time, do you know what? I sympathize for anybody because quite simply, it's these sorts of things that incite racial hatred. And it starts by going, this is my country. It's not your country at all. You don't own it. I didn't see your name on the, on the sign as I walked in. Your name wasn't up there. You're, you live in a country. You're born in a country. But it's not yours. I didn't see you running for the presidential election. I didn't see... Um, yeah, I did. I don't understand some of the logic behind some people. Because, the, like I said, at the same time, they're quick enough being dismissive. But when it comes to needing help, they're the first in the queue. Thanks for watching.